Today at the Vatican, Pope Benedict lent his support to Dublin as the capital prepares to host the International Eucharistic Congress in June. Especially for the occasion, a bell from the Dominican convent in Port Stewart, County Derry, was brought over from Ireland, where it's been touring parishes over the past year. In ringing the bell, the Pope was symbolically calling on Catholics to come out of their everyday life and move towards a spiritual sphere. The Pontiff then met Irish organisers of the Congress, which will culminate at a special Mass in Croke Park, where it's expected to attract 80,000 people. Even though it wasn't on the agenda today, the inevitable question after the meeting was whether Pope Benedict gave any indication he was going to visit Ireland. No talk of that today, but I think it's very clear that uh, I would say the pattern that was followed in the last Eucharistic Congresses when he sends a tele live televised message would probably be the most likely thing to happen. That would suggest a papal visit to Ireland is now looking very unlikely. However, as the Pope continued with his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square, organisers of the Congress were buoyed up by the audience. The Irish Church is brought into a closer relationship with the Pope in that run-up to the Congress, and I suppose we have his blessing on the work that we're doing. A huge amount of work has been done. It will be a spectacular eight days and an event I think Ireland hasn't seen in a very long time. As well as ringing the bell, Pope Benedict was also presented with Shamrock today, ahead of St. Patrick's Day on Saturday.